Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Guardians SMP with me, Zombie Liam here. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a good day. I am having a pretty exciting day. I am excited for my project here in Akuke no Tami because we are going to be working on something that, well, requires a bit of bone meal, a bit of bone box. And if you want to know how I see how I got all these, Bone blocks. Well, I'm going to show you a clip in just a second, but before I do, heads, player heads. Yep. So Wonder Intruder came over two Wonder Intruders actually, and I managed to get all of these heads. And hopefully, I can use these in decorations and stuff like that. And these are just probably collectible so we've got quite a few players now so while you guys are watching the clip which was actually recorded by defense because mine messed up you i'm going to put these away basically so enjoy defense's point of view okay everybody a quick little <laughs> interjection here we are uh, taking a quick break from that because we have our good buddy zombie liam here who is here to pick up an order that I have been working on for them. If you want to uh, slow the throw the uh, shulker down, I can put all your goods inside of it. Okay. That's nice. All right. So we did what did what did we do? Nine, eighteen, twenty, and a bit stacks. Uh, we were going for twenty-seven. I haven't been able to get the full twenty-seven yet, but when I do, I will pass them along. But this hopefully should be enough to get you started. Yeah, if I need more, I'll definitely come yeah, back. Yeah, let me know, let me know, because the full 32 covers the full ha full shulker, so I will get you as many mm. as you need. Uh, I run that farm pretty much every chance I get, so we'll be able to go Thank on with that. Thank you very much, but, good sir. Yeah. And there we go, all of the heads are put away, and I also do have a wee bit more bone blocks that I have had in collection for a wee bit now. So we've got almost a shulker box fill. We're still going to get some more from defense as you saw from the clip. And as you probably heard from the said clip we're just talking about multiple times. Yeah, we are going to be building a big house at the top of our base. And I actually built this in creative first before doing any of the other stuff so i've tested this i think this is a pretty good size for a house like a big house this is like something cabalas would do for a star house but for me this is a big house <laughs> and i'm just going to do some like building i'll show you guys like little progress updates as thing goes along and stuff like that but this may take me a while if really complete this and the interior and the dungeon down below which i'm going to do so yeah i'm going to stop rambling let's go and get some building done okay we've got our first little bit of the house done this is going to be the very front of it and i know what you're thinking stop falling down at hill no uh, i know what you guys are probably thinking that's the size of the house you're going for just wait just now just wait and we'll see what happens and this is the front <laughs> of the house. It's not complete. Uh, I've still got like loads of little detail stuff that I want to add to this. But this is as like basic as you can get. It. I like this so much. Uh, while I was doing my testing, I changed the roof a bit and I made it a bit more pointier on the top. I think that looks freaking amazing. Dude. I'm super happy with this. Uh, now I just got to do the sides in the back, but they're all going to be like the one level um, I'm also going to be doing like the wee bits at the top here Around the back as well just to make it a bit more interesting I'm probably just going to have the middle one Jump out by one or two not this one So I don't know how it's going to look but we also got this bit out here Which means the roof is going to come out a bit and it's going to be like another section on the roof where there's going to be like a, a little thing here, so yeah, I'm super happy. Let's get let's get this started, man. Let's get this started. And the walls have well, the basic walls have been done, and you can start to see the scale. Oh, my lag! Uh, you can start to see the scale of how it looks when you're done below. It's 
big. It is pretty big. It's not huge, but it is big, and I do like it. We're also going to do the interior as well as it, so that's going to take a long time to do. So yeah, I think now the roof. Time to do the roof. Okay, it's all done. The roof has been done, the outside has been done. You probably noticed with the Eagle Eye viewers that I had the dark oak on the outside and the spruce on the inside at the beginning, but as you know from the other houses, this is the actual correct way of doing it. And yes, we've added a little bit on the edges of the roof to the side just to give it a little bit more of a shape. And I think it looks fantastic. Inside is still empty. I probably will not be doing anything in back because I like carve this out for windows then The views not gonna be the best Oh, I've still got a couple of bone blocks to place there, but that's fine. So yeah, I still have a lot of work to do Okay, we have done the outside of the building Completely, and I am uh, super. I uh, it's okay. It's not the most detailed thing. I feel like I can add some more details somewhere. I'm just not sure where, at the moment. But the inside. This is what we're going to be tackling now. So I have lime and green terracotta because I want to make like a cool wall using this. I think that that could be cool so I'll come in here and then since there's four here I can do like the double sided walls and stuff like that maybe even I remove this and have like this being a wall and then the white carpet starts there I'm not 100% sure what I want to do this obviously this is going to have to be bone block since obviously outside but we will have to make these all uh, full blocks in if that's going to be the case. That's not an issue. I just was hoping for like a, a nice little bit of space. So let me go and try this wall effect, the wallpaper, to try to see how it looks in the scaly things. Okay, so I've been keeping it simple for this room. It makes it look homely and nice so over here at the front we have a little coat hanger where you can you should be able to grab the coat uh you, you cannot grab the coat i was going to say so you can come in and put your coat in whenever you're in the house but you can't do that which is fine i'll probably figure out a way to do that in the future come in there's some lovely plants which fill the air with a magical magical smell and we have this paint in here you can't go through it it's off. It looks like the Donkey Kong game. See that? I think there is Paulina, Princess Peach, or is that Mario? I don't know. I don't see Mario. A couple of flowers, and I made like the shelving unit. In each of these, this is where each of the rooms are going to be. So this is going to be a staircase room. So you come in, get staircase, go like that, and then you go up the staircase like that. I think that's going to be nice. It's going to be a two wide staircase, which is fine. And then there's also going to be enough room, uh, I hope, to have like an underground staircase that leads underground. So I can add my storage there. And I'm not the best interior designer decorator. So this might take me a long time. The roof's going to stay the same height it's there. Hopefully that's going to be fine for that window. The window's maybe a bit tall, but... No, that's fine. So I'm not going to continue to see how this goes. I may ask for help from Bex, who is a fantastic interior designer. So yeah, let's get things started on the bottom floor. We have done the first room of the four bottom rooms. Just a little staircase. I like this. This took me a while to actually come up with the design. What I was originally thinking was have it sort of here. And then go up like a L shape. Then I realised there's not much room in here to do that. So I decided to do this. And I think I like it. And we've done the top floor. And that's something I'm going to struggle with here. 
as the top four. That should be a dark oak. So let me just quickly delete that. Yeah, we'll finish that quick there. So we have um, stairs coming up here to make it look nice. We have slabs coming off these blocks, and on the slabs we can put stuff on it. So that's what I've done. Some flower plots, lights. We have now one of these trees, and we have a little porch over there. And down here in this little area is going to be where I'm placing my storage. This is going to be like a mini staircase down, which is eventually going to turn into stone. But I don't know how I'm going to do that because of the terrain. I may have to like make it go down and then go up in this direction. But that, yeah. So I think this room over here should be a kitchen. And the second room we have done is the kitchen. It is very basic. Because I don't know really what I'm doing with this kitchen. I probably won't really come in here much either. However, I have noticed, uh, is this light level zero? Where's the light level? Uh, uh, light level four. So I don't actually need any light in here. It's just kind of lit by everything else. And I kind of like that. I think this is nice. It's, it's not nice. I'm lying. It's okay. We can do better in the next two rooms, which I have no idea what I'm going to do for these rooms. I genuinely do not have a clue what I'm going to be doing with these next two rooms. I could do a games room and maybe I could leave the room empty. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I, I am genuinely stuck for what to do with this room. I do not have a clue. I don't know what to do upstairs as well still. So I might leave that to the next episode when I have more of an idea. But, down here, I'm working on a little basement. I've slightly messed up the roof a bit. I've added a slab here. I don't know if I like that, but we'll mess up. And we'll come down here, a nice little entrance to this dugout area. This is where the base is going to be for the chest. We're going to go possibly all the way to the end and just fill out these sections with um, chests. We'll probably have like a section of five and then it'll come out like this so this will be like one section of chests and then we'll have another section of chests there and I'm hoping that'll be enough chests for everything that we need for like the whole season so let's do this hmm stone brick too bricky for my liking and much much better we're not doing the roof, we'll get to the roof layer and we're not doing the walls because they're obviously chairs that go to the walls. But now we need to do a bit of shaping. Okay, getting somewhere now. Time to add some chests. And the storage room is done and I really like this. This is such a good storage room. We got loads of chests. So we're gonna have enough storage for everything we need. It, it, it looks nice, it actually looks pretty nice, I'm proud, the roof is okay, I'm not really bothered about that to be honest. I don't think many people are going to be looking at the roof, they're mainly going to be looking at the chests. And I like this, but anyway guys, this is actually going to be here for the end of the episode. In next episode we are going to be able to finish the house completely. Because it's just been taking me too long to do the work that I've done, to be honest. I've been distracted with other things. The upstairs will be done. And the outside, this top layer, is going to be done. Hopefully, probably won't be completely done. I'll probably do bits here, there, and everywhere. Just doing stuff whenever I can. But for now, I'm happy with this. I'm going to start moving all of my own through here to the chest here. So that's going to take a long time and I will see you guys, of course, in the next video. Goodbye!